both been dairy farmers for 27 years. We're, wow, it's a long time. And today we're going to try to teach you about the circle of farming and uh, what it means to a farmer, what it means to you, and to the cow. And you'll see down here on the floor we have a circle all set up of sawdust and uh, we're going to put some things on the circle of farming and we're going to ask you questions as we go about different things and you can ask us questions too. The first thing we're going to put on the circle of farming is the, probably the most important part of the circle. And does anybody know what Rod has in his hand there? That's correct. <coughs> Cows in a bowl. Well, that might be a bowl. Uh, <laughs> The next thing we're going to put on the circle of farming is what the cow eats. Oh, guy, you guys know what the cow eats. Uh, cow might eat a lot of different things that people can't eat, like hay, grass. There's a lot of different byproducts like cotton seed, that stuff that people can't eat. And we'll pass some of those things around. You can take a look at them and you can feel them and you can smell them. Another important thing that a cow might eat is called beet pulp and that's what's left over from sugar beets after, after we take the sugar out of them. So as you can tell, cows can eat a lot of different products that people can't eat. And a lot of these things, the land that grass grows on can't be used for other crops, but it can grow grass. And um, cows use that to make probably the most important product that a cow makes. Does anybody know what that might be? Milk, that's right. Cows make milk and that's why we keep cows. We'll put that on the circle right here. Another important part of farming and takes a lot of farmers time is, um, is the harvest of uh, the grass. And a lot of times you'll see tractors out in the fields planting corn for cow food or harvesting the grass. So when you go on a drive out in the county this summer, you'll see tractors working in the fields, hauling the feed home um, for the cows to eat all winter. And uh, does anybody know what that is? Silo, you'll see a lot of those on farms. There's different kinds of them, but that's that's what we would use to store the grass in and the corn silage to feed the cows in the winter. So feeding cows is a very important thing that we do and we want to keep our cows healthy and happy. So what, what most farmers do is mix all the different feeds up into what we call a TMR, which is like when your mom makes a casserole for you to eat, that would be like a cow casserole. And the farmer would work with a nutritionist or a veterinarian to make sure that the cows stay very healthy. They can make lots of milk and stay happy. So that's a very important part of the process. There's another thing that a cow needs a lot of every day, and that would be, Rod knows, water. And you might drink two or three glasses of that a day, but does anybody know how many gallons of water a cow might drink every day? 18? That's a good answer, but not quite enough. 300, that's a little high. 25, you're gonna go higher. No, but I'm going to show you. 55 gallons of water every day. That's a lot of water. Um, that's how a cow stays cool and makes lots of milk. Thank you. Water makes milk? Water helps make milk along with all the feed that the cow eats. Another very important product that a cow might make is called what us farmers like to call fertilizer. Sometimes it can be a little smelly, but it's a very important part of the circle of farming. 
Manure, that's correct. Does everybody want to smell it and feel it? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not going to let you. Even though it's a little bit smelly sometimes when we drive around the county when the farmer is putting it on his fields, it's a very important part of the circle of farming because the grass and the corn would not grow if uh, we didn't have the manure to put on the cr on the soil to feed the life in the soil to make the crops grow. So that way a farmer doesn't have to buy expensive chemical fertilizer to put on his ground. He can use the manure from the cows. So as you can see, it's a very continuous circle that's going on every day and there's a lot of things going on in dairy farms that farmers need to take care of. The cow eats the grass and the hay and the grain. The farmer has to haul it to the barn to store it up for winter so the cows can eat it. The cow produces manure which is plant food to make the crops grow. And the farmer harvests them again and what we get out of the deal is milk, cheese, ice cream and all those neat things we like to eat. Um, now I'm going to ask you kids if you have any questions and we're going to try to answer them. And we take parents, teachers, we all want you to ask questions, so. Yeah. What's that? This one right here, next to the silo, that's called a mower. That's what the farmer would pull with a tractor to cut the grass in the field. Manure, what does that mean? Yeah, that's right. That's a very good question. How much milk does a cow make every day, Rod? Do you know the answer to that? half gallon jugs of milk and we we were just talking about that and that probably will feed about seven families every day one cow will produce enough milk for seven families the big thing that's called a silo and there's nothing in that one but when you drive around in the county and you see the big silos that's where the farmer stores all the chopped up grass and it keeps it preserved for it to feed the cows in the winter. That hay right there, that's alfalfa hay, and a lot of that hay is grown in eastern Washington, where they'll grow it on the fields here when they can, and they truck it to the farm. How does the manure help the grass? How does the manure help the grass? There's three major nutrients in manure, and it's called nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So what the farmer does, he puts on the right amount of manure on his fields, and then after 35, 40 days, he'll harvest the grass, and then he'll put that right amount on again. So, and then there's a lot of other things in manure, too, that help the grass grow. Does the farm make anything else besides food? Well, we like to say that the farm makes lots of jobs for people uptown. The average farm in Whatcom County probably supports 20, five to 30 jobs in town. So farms are very important to all of us to give us work to do so we can feed ourselves. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about, that's, I'm glad you mentioned that because every year a cow needs to have a baby calf. And that way she'll keep producing lots of milk. So once a year, a cow will have a calf, and it takes nine months as a gestation period for a cow, just like humans. How big does a cow get? See that big guy right there? He's tall, isn't he? That cow will come right up to his shoulder. They're a very gentle animal, though. They're a herding animal. They like to be together. They don't like to hurt people. They like to eat grass and lay down and chew their cud and that sort of thing. What time we milk the cows, that varies.
case on every farm, but most farms will milk those cows either two times a day every 12 hours or they'll milk them three times a day every eight hours. Tell us some of the earliest you have. <laughs> the earliest I, I used to get up at about five every morning to go out and milk the cows. Rod, on Rod's farm, I think they milk them quite continuously all the time. He has lots of cows on his farm. I think it's time to move on. I think it's time to have ice cream, yeah. <laughs>